check this out. This is Llama 3.8b running on a serverless GPU and it is buttery smooth. Snappy responses, zero friction, exactly the kind of experience that keeps users engaged. Now I'm going to show you how to build this for yourself using Tensor RT LLM and Modal. Large language models like Llama 3.8b can feel a bit sluggish out of the box. And that's a real problem for real-time apps like chat or code editing where speed is critical. With LLMs, there's oftentimes a trade-off. You can either batch request for maximum GPU throughput or you can prioritize latency to get responses back to users fast. For interactive use cases, speed has to come first. The good news is that with the right GPU setup and inference engine and optimizations, you can cut down latency to 250 milliseconds. That's well under 400 milliseconds, a common rule of thumb for keeping interactions feeling fluid and users engaged. So here's our plan at a high level. First, we're going to set up our container and install TensorRT LLM, which is going to serve as our inference engine for this particular project. A quick side note here, there are several popular options for serving up LLMs, including VLLM and SGLang. Depending on your workload, one may work better than another. For this particular build, we're going to go with TensorRT LLM because it is built for low latency. Think of it as the Ferrari of inference engines custom built by Nvidia to squeeze the most out of their GPUs. It takes a bit more work to configure, but the performance boost is well worth it. Next, we'll build the TensorRT LLM engine and walk through some key optimizations. Then we'll deploy the model to Modal's serverless GPU infrastructure. And finally, we'll test the model's responses first without the optimizations and then with them so that you can see the difference for yourself. Let's jump into the build. Start by cloning the Modal examples repo. We'll be working inside trtlmlatency.py, which includes everything we need. One of the biggest benefits of working with Modal is that everything happens directly in Python. From configuring the GPU container to applying optimizations, there's no need to fiddle with Docker files or YAML. It's all clean, simple, and code driven. Now we set up our container using an NVIDIA CUDA based image and install Tensor RT LLM and its dependencies. Next, we'll download the Llama 3AB instruct model from Hugging Face via Noise Research and cache it using a modal volume. This is a distributed storage that stays fast no matter where your compute runs. It will persist across different sessions on modal, will help speed up our startup times, and it's free to use. Next, we'll build out our inference engine and walk through three key optimization techniques, quantization, plugin configuration, and speculative decoding. Quantization compresses model weights into lower precision format. In our case, we're using FP8. This will reduce the memory usage and speed up computation without significantly affecting model quality. Plugins let us tune how GPU kernels execute during inference. We'll enable four that will make a big difference. Multiple profiles prepares multiple kernels for different input sizes. Page KV cache enables page attention for more efficient memory usage. We use both low latency gem plugins, which bring in optimized kernels from NVIDIA's Cutlass library. Remember, there's often a trade-off between latency and throughput when it comes to LLM performance. These configurations are tuned to reduce latency, but it's worth experimenting with different settings to find what works best for your particular use case. Next up, we have speculative decoding, which helps us generate multiple tokens in parallel instead of one at a time, which reduces overall latency. Here, we're using a method called look-ahead decoding. It works by predicting future tokens based on the idea that patterns from earlier in the conversation are likely to repeat. This approach tends to work best on text with predictable patterns like code or templated content. That said, performance can vary by workload, so it's worth testing out to see what delivers the best results for your particular example. Now that everything is set up, we're gonna run this model on modal using modal run. Let's kick things off in slow mode. This is going to spin up a temporary GPU container and send a batch of hard-coded prompts to the model. We're gonna measure how fast the response times come in, both in slow mode without optimizations and in fast mode with our optimizations turned on. When you first run this model, we'll build the container image and download the model weights, which can take a few minutes. But both the image and the model will be cached, so future runs will start up much faster. You'll see the responses come in and the response times. At the end here, we'll get a summary showing the 50th and 90th percentile for the response times. Now let's try fast mode. This will apply all of our optimizations. So same prompts, but now it's powered by an optimized TensorRT LLM engine. 
Here's how they compare. In slow mode, the 50th percentile comes in at about 660 milliseconds, and the 90th percentile jumps to about 2,180 milliseconds. In fast mode, however, the 50th percentile drops to 200 milliseconds, and the 90th percentile drops to 780 milliseconds. That's about a 3x speed up, which makes the experience feel much more fluid and responsive to users. Let's see how this performs in a live chat setting. First, we'll deploy our app as an HTTP endpoint on modal using modal deploy. Once deployed, we can run the client script to interact with our model in real time. This is going to open up a chat in the terminal and we can see just how fast the responses come in from Llama 3.8b. Now check this out, time to first token, super fast. Completion speed is quick, everything feels instant. This is the kind of responsiveness that creates a great user experience and it all runs on Modal's serverless GPU infrastructure with just Python. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison with slow mode versus fast mode and you can just see the performance upgrade you get with these optimizations. Now you have a fast self-hosted large language model optimized with Tensor RTLM running on modal. Whether you're building a chatbot or a coding assistant or some other interactive tool, your users are going to get a smoother experience without the headache of managing infrastructure or paying for idle GPUs. If you're ready to try it out, head over to modal.com and get started with $30 in free compute credits every month. And if you found this helpful, please give it a like or subscribe. Drop any questions you have in the comments and I'll catch you on the next one.